There are few things more iconic during Christmas than the candy cane. And for many of us in Southern California, Logan's Candies is both a cherished Christmas memory and one of the best places to get a fresh candy cane. I've been going to Logan's for years to watch their annual candy cane demonstrations, and while they're still having them this year, they've had to cap capacity and only allow a few people to watch the process. Because of that, I decided to connect with Jerry from Logan's Candies and show you how they make their candy canes for all who can't visit this year. Here is all the information on this fun event, and be sure to stop by the shop to grab some candy or go to a demonstration next Christmas. Hey everybody, we're at Logan's Candies in Ontario. We're about to go chat with the owner and get a demonstration of how they make their candy canes. The store is open for shopping if you want to just go buy some candy outside of the demonstration times. Hi guys, my name is Jerry. Just want to welcome you to Logan's Candies in downtown Ontario. We've been running it with my family since uh, 1982, so come on down. I just want to tell you a little bit about the candy cane situation. We have the candy canes we make here tonight, so just give you a quick rundown. So what we do is we take a mixture of sugar, water, and corn syrup. We add a little bit of water to it, we mix it up, we cook it on the stove for about 45 minutes. When it hits a little bit over 320 degrees, we pour it out on our marble slab. At that point, we begin to cool it down. As it cools down, we separate it into a couple pieces. We add a little bit of red for our red stripe. We add a little bit of white. No flavor whatsoever. Remember, that is just the color only. That is triple distilled peppermint flavor right there. That is less than a quarter of an ounce and that's all it takes to flavor the entire batch. Luckily it doesn't take too much because it does run about $500 a gallon. And we actually put the white on the hook and as we pull it, as it turns white, that's where you get this nice, beautiful, glossy white. Every batch is a little bit different. Some batches start out lighter, some start out darker. And then we move over to the table in front of our heaters. We then add a little bit of a stripe to the candy cane. All right, so this first piece that I'm going to show you right here, you can see I've mixed the two stripes together. This piece right here is going to be our five little stripes, just like you guys see on those candy canes up there. All right, so this first piece that I showed you here, as you can see, I'm beginning to stretch it out. Following stripe number three, next will be stripe number. Our signature stripe here at Logan's is five little stripes and one big stripe. Same stripe pattern we've been using here since 1933. So we put that all together and we have this basically a big massive block, if you can imagine. Five stripes on one side and a big stripe on the other side. And as we begin to pull it out and twist it, that's where you get that barber pole look as you're rolling the candy out. And right before your very eyes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have created the candy cane. <laughs> So we're in front of the heater, we roll it out, we've got a line of three or fours on the table, rolling the candy canes, we're bending them, and then of course as they cool, they get bagged and taped and closed, and they're pretty much ready for you to sell to you and your family. And then of course as you taste it, you know, too bad you can't be here live to actually smell it and taste it, because that's the way to really go with it. But uh, then you get to taste a nice warm piece, and then voila, we have Logan's Candies. One more thing I wanted to note before I ended this video is that they also make these candy pillows. And watching that experience is one of the best parts of the candy demonstration. They use this machine to cut all the little pieces and then they just slam them down and they break apart. I hope this video gave you a little Christmas cheer this year. And here's Jerry to tell you how you can support Logan's Candies if you're interested. We hope you guys get a chance to come down to Logan's and uh, enjoy our atmosphere. Great, great candy to eat, great people, great smell. You can also follow us on our social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Just started with TikTok. We've got some great videos. You can watch some candy making on TikTok. So we'd love to have you come down and uh, eat some great candy. So thanks for coming tonight, you guys. Appreciate it.